Hi, my name is Johan Eriksson, saxophone instructor at the University of Montana. There are many skills that go into building uh, a jazz musician. In the following videos, we're going to be breaking down each individual building block a little bit further in easy to understanding language. If you look at your screen, you can see the main building blocks in red in the outer edges of the sheet. If you don't listen to jazz, there's virtually zero chance of becoming a proficient jazz musician. Imagine this situation. Imagine if I told you, I want to be a great rapper. And you ask me, who's your favorite rapper? And I say, well, I don't really listen to rap. What are my chances of ever becoming a good rapper or even a proficient rapper? You'd probably say you, you have no chance. So we must make sure that we do the same thing with any genre of music that we're trying to be good at. You must listen to it. As you can see behind me, I listen to a lot of jazz music. When you listen to jazz, or any other music for that matter, try to listen really deeply. What's the drummer doing? How is the drummer reacting to the soloist? How, what is the bass player doing? Is the bass player walking on all four beats? Is the bass player maybe playing one and three or something entirely different? Uh, how's the soloist reacting to the rhythm section? How's the rhythm section reacting to the soloist? Ask yourself these questions. How does the soloist build intensity? Do they play more notes? Do they play in the higher range? Uh, do they play less notes? Uh, each player can be a little bit different and try to codify that in your mind as you're listening and you will start recognize them the next time you hear them. The second most important thing you should do is transcribing. Transcribing is the art of taking something directly from a recording and memorizing, trying to internalize it and making it your own. Jazz is an oral art form and needs to be learned orally, listening and then putting it on your instrument. It's the only way of really making it authentic sounding. This can be daunting if you've never done it before, but do it like this. Start by listening to whatever it is that you want to transcribe and learn to sing along with it. If you can do that, it's going to be much easier to transcribe it. Once you feel like you can sing along with it, learn little chunks at a time, maybe four beats, and see if you can sound exactly like the person. Then learn the next four beats and start putting them together. Before you know it, you will have an entire solo and you will be sounding really, really great. In order to play with other jazz musicians, you need to know tunes, preferably lots of them. These should be memorized. Uh, a tune is built up of usually an introduction, a melody, underneath the melody is harmony, chord progressions, and an ending. Jazz tunes has a form, and the form just keeps repeating itself over and over and over. So even though a song might be seven, eight minutes long, the form might repeat itself every 30 seconds or so. Um, in the following videos, I'll be breaking down how to learn to play and improvise over a tune. Thank <laughs> you.